여러분 안녕하세요 자 토크TV입니다 제가 영어 성경 공부를 소개하는 장면들은 많이 내보냈는데요 그 안에 보면 공부하는 절차 여섯 번을 반복해서 해야 된다 이렇게 얘기를 했습니다 쉐도잉을 해야 된다 자 어떻게 하는 건지 오늘 한번 제가 보여드리겠습니다 먼저 여기 보시다시피 소개 문이 나오죠 이 소개 글이 끝난 다음에 다섯 번을 하고 마지막에 한 번을 풀로 해주는 거예요 한 장을 그러면 이제 여섯 번이 되는 건데요 다섯 번을 듣고 있습니다 반복을 하면 여러분 영어 공부 엄청 가 있습니다. 자그 다음 단계로 그 단계에 보면은 영어 공부 절차 했죠. 방법은 똑같아요. 그러나 이거를 이미 마쳤기 때문에 그 다음부터는 쉐도잉 1년을 합니다. 자 쉐도잉 절차도 똑같아요. 단 다른 부분이 뭐냐 이걸 따라서 하는 거죠. 자 또와 How to post the Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are the apostles and the faithful in the Christ Jesus. How to post Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are the apostles and the faithful in Christ Jesus. 두 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by will of God to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 세 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saints who are in Ephesus and the faithful in Christ Jesus. 네 번째 있나요? 자, 네 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 다섯 번 했어요. 이렇게 이 절이 22절까지 돼 있다면 22절을 마치고 마지막 한 번을 풀로 해줍니다 1년간을 6개월을 반복 듣기를 마친 이후에 1년을 쉐도잉을 하면 쉐도잉 할 때는 동시 통역하듯이 같이 합니다 동시에 나오는 걸 들음과 동시에 까불까불까불까불 하면서 동시에 해주는 거예요 그러니까 통역 방식이죠 1년을 하면 여러분 영어로 걱정 안 하셔도 됩니다 여러분 영어 완성이 그렇게 쉬운 일은 아닙니다만 이런 방법으로 하면 영어는 완성됩니다 Hebrews 9 Now even the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly place of holiness. Hebrews 9 Now even the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly place of holiness. Hebrews 9 Now even the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly place of holiness. Hebrews 9 Now even the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly place of holiness. Hebrews 9 Now even the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly place of holiness. For a tent was prepared, the first section, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence, it is called the holy place. For a tent was prepared, the first section, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence, it is called the holy place. For a tent was prepared. The first section, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence, it is called the holy place. For a tent was prepared. The first section, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence, it is called the holy place. For a tent was prepared. The first section, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence, it is called the holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section called the most holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section called the most holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section called the most holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section called the most holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section called the most holy place. Having the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden urn holding the manna, an Aaron staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant. Having the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden urn holding the manna, an Aaron staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant. Having the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden urn holding the manna, an Aaron staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant. Having the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden urn holding the manna, an Aaron staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant.
having the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden urn holding the manna, an Aaron's staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. But into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood, which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. But into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood, which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. But into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. But into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. But into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. For he finds fault with them when he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. For he finds fault with them when he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. For he finds fault with them when he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. For he finds fault with them when he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. For he finds fault with them when he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot perfect the conscience of the worshiper, which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot perfect the conscience of the worshiper, which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot perfect the conscience of the worshiper, which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot 
perfect the conscience of the worshipper, which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot perfect the conscience of the worshipper. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach each one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest. And they shall not teach each one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest. And they shall not teach each one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest. And they shall not teach each one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest. And they shall not teach each one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flesh, for if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flesh, for if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flesh. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flesh. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls, and with the ashes of a heifer, sanctifies for the purification of the flesh. How much more with the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? How much more with the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. How much more with the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience 
from dead works to serve the living God. How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. For where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Therefore not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. Therefore not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. Therefore not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. Therefore not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. Therefore not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people said. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people said. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people said. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people said. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people said, This is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you. This is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you. This is the blood of the covenant 
that God commanded for you. Saying, this is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you. Saying, this is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you. And in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. And in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. And in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. And in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. And in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ has entered, not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. For Christ has entered, not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. For Christ has entered, not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. For Christ has entered, not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. For Christ has entered, not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood not his own, for then nor was it to offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood not his own, for then nor was it to offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood not his own, for then nor was it to offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood not his own, for then nor was it to offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood not his own, for then for then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. 
but then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. But then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. For then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. For then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment, and just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment, and just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment, and just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment. And just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Hebrews 9 Now even the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly place of holiness. For a tent was prepared, the first section, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence, it is called the holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section called the most holy place, having the golden altar of incense and the ark of the covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden urn holding the manna, an Aaron's staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. These preparations having thus been made, the priests go regularly into the first section performing their ritual duties, but into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. By this the Holy Spirit indicates that the way into the holy places is not yet opened as long as the first section is still standing, which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot perfect the conscience of the worshiper, but deal only with food and drink and various washings, regulations for the body imposed until the time of reformation. But when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls, and with the ashes of a heifer, sanctifies for the purification of the flesh. How much more with the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works 
to serve the living God. Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. For where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established, for a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Therefore not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you. And in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the law almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ has entered, not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself. Now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood not his own, for then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him.